Good morning, folks. We're going to be taking a look at some space weather, some terrestrial weather, and some articles. But first, as always, we're going to begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're checking out the last 24 hours on our star. No eruptive activity, no solar flares. We're seeing some of the filaments beginning to turn off as well. The sunspots that were born during the release of the central plasma filament two days ago have continued to grow and are about to gain some magnetic complexity, but they are turning, so it's a matter of danger versus time remaining. Another couple days and they'll be gone. Solar wind here. We see one of those cosmic ray error readings there as the big spike in purple. What's really notable up in blue, the phi angle has shifted, and so geomagnetic quiet should be ending in the next couple of days as we do expect an intensified solar wind stream from the now departing coronal hole. Top left, you can already see the next one coming in towards the end of that sequence. No major seismicity, but we did get a 6.0 in Papua New Guinea, about 56 kilometers down. Nobody even really felt that there. Top story is about flux transfer events. Every eight minutes, the sun and Earth's magnetic fields link up, opening a gateway for solar wind plasma exchange and direct interaction. They had thought these flux events were responsible for about 1% of the more open fields in the magnetosphere, but that number is actually closer to 10%, which makes the flux transfer events the number one driver of magnetospheric convection during solar quiet days. Thoughts go to Indonesia, where tornadoes are exceptionally rare, but when they happen, the population density makes for an almost guaranteed disaster. Pull the GOES West satellite imagery for the last day here to see the system lining out on the West Coast, much needed for some regions, Hopefully not a repeat of 2015 anywhere. Folks, the last story today isn't linked or really that important for you to read. It is a story about academics frustrated that the policymakers won't listen to them as well as they'd like. Well, their solutions genesis can be found in correcting the impetus for this channel's existence. You can't expect them to listen when you fail to find dark matter, can't get temperature forecasts correct despite a 97% consensus, and when the standard theory of cosmology does not explain gravity. Results. Then, policy. Great way to get involved and stay up to date is with the Disaster Prediction app. Be sure you read the info page and set up your alert notifications. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.